Here's the birth of yet another, although this is not her first show. I want to let you guys know, um, this is a perennial, number one. It's going to take full to part sun, mm -hmm. and it blooms late spring to early summer. That's it's right. brand new today. We have free shipping and handling. We have a low feature price of $26.58. And what you told me earlier, Stephanie, was mm -hmm. you said this acts like an insurance policy for your garden. What That's is this right. and why? Great question, Antoinette. So I love the fritillaria because... You know, our, the bulb has a sweet, musky aroma that we humans above ground, we can't smell it, but all of our moles, voles, especially the deer, and all of our furry friends, you know, they can smell this underground, and they're not fond of it. Mm -hmm. So what that means is, you know, pick up multiple sets, put it everywhere throughout your garden, you know, among your other spring bulbs and even your summer bulbs, and you're kind of creating a forest field, preventing them from being dug up and eaten. So it's really ensuring your entire spring and summer gardens. Oh, that's awesome. It's wonderful. Okay, so tell me what I'm getting. This is actually a four piece, it's right? It's a four piece, and actually today, it's a brand new collection featuring our bright, cheery yellow Lutea Maxima. Wow. So we're getting two, as you can see in your garden here, you know, we're getting two of the Lutea Maxima, this bright yellow, along with the Rubra Maxima of bright, fiery orange. And as you can see in this garden, you know, they're spread out everywhere. And like I said, you want to make sure to do that so that you're really protecting all of your other bulbs. Here's a close-up of the beautiful Lutea. Wow. I love this image because together you can see, you know, the bell-shaped flowers come together yeah. to give you a crown with the dangling crown jewels, and it makes for such an eye-catching flower. Yeah. And here, they, you know, they grow three to four feet tall. You don't have to stake them. They'll stay on their own. You know, we like to say they're like an imperial soldier in your garden, just oh. really, you know, they'll protect everything else in your garden. And because of their height, you know, three to four feet tall, they give you that extra layer in your garden. So plant them behind your shorter plants, along your fences, your borders. Here's the Ruber Maxima. You can't miss this bright, fiery orange color in your garden. Against a bright spring blue sky, it's amazing combination of color. And we get both of them, both of them. You're getting of two of each. It's not a choice of, you get to have both colors. And you know, I would, like I said, pick up several sets to really ensure your entire garden. You know, here it is against the tulips, it's a beautiful combination of colors and of different layers, so you're really giving your garden a great depth and dimension. Wow, oh, look at Look that. at those, yeah, the bell-shaped flowers, they really come together with, you know, as a crown with dangling crown jewels, beautiful green foliage on top, that tuft of green, and the green below. It's really, they stand for themselves in the garden. They're really eye-catching. Uh, like nothing else I've ever, Stephanie, like nothing I've nothing ever else. seen before. I know, for, for us either, they're really a unique flower that yeah. all of your neighbors will be coming by asking, Antoinette, what, what is are that? What these is beautiful that? flowers? Exactly. My goodness. Mm -hmm. I mean, a little bit from far away, I almost see like lemons and mangoes. And right. You come up and you see this like tuft of, mm -hmm. of Hawaiian head exactly. on it. And then you're like, are those bells? Are mm -hmm. those oversized, gigantic tulips on steroids? I mean, what they is do that? look like an upside down tulip. <laughs> they That's do, right. they yep. do. Um, so we're going to get a total. It's a four. It's a piece. four piece. Yeah. Let me go ahead. Okay. And maybe show you guys what you'll get and how to plant them because they could okay. not be easier. All of these fall bulbs. So you'll be getting four of these bulbs, two of each color, and you know because of the way they look, you don't really have to know if it's top or bottom. Just plant them in on their side. Okay. So you're gonna want to put them in six to eight inches deep. And you can plant them in a pot if you don't have a garden, like I live in an apartment. But like I said, if you have a yard, definitely plant them everywhere to protect your other bowls. And they are perennials. They so are they perennials. They will come back come year back after year. And they'll multiply, Antoinella. So every year you'll be getting more and more of these beautiful fritillarias. So you're just going to plant them in, you know, definitely give them a little bit of water. Okay. And then you want to fertilize your fall bulbs at that initial planting just to give them a little bit of food because they're not just sitting dormant when you plant them in the fall. Mm -hmm. They're actually building a root system in that way that they'll have enough energy to get through the winter and then mm -hmm. pop up in the spring. So, oh, so, so, all right, wait, when you call it a fall bulb, I keep thinking uh, it's gonna bloom in the fall, but you plant Great it question. in the fall. You right. tell me how. Yeah, okay. Okay, God, so, I don't, know. <laughs> the, I don't do bulbs. I do everything else It's a great question. Bulbs. No, it's a really great question. So our bulbs, you know, they're actually still in the ground in Holland as we're speaking because we don't want to dig them up prematurely. They're getting strong and healthy. And then once you receive your bulbs, you know, when you saw on that map where you are in the country, it'll be the perfect time for you to plant them. Plant them in your ground. Like I said, fertilize a little and then let Mother Nature do her thing. And then in the spring, you'll be getting these beautiful fritillaria and these will bloom April to May for four to six weeks. So four to six weeks, you'll have these bright, fiery orange and bright yellow flowers 
it's really an unbelievable flower and I would really recommend it. I love that. I've never mm -hmm. seen it before. I've never heard of it before. Um, and, and here we're looking, we are this actually is, looking at live images Right, this, so this is what they'll look like in your garden. Okay. They're beautiful bell-shaped flowers that come together as a crown with dangling crown jewels, standing strong and tall on three to four foot stems that don't need to be staked. And you know, they really give your garden a beautiful dimension and depth because they're super tall compared to your other flowers. And here's our Ruba Maxima, fiery orange, bright colors against a spring blue sky. It's amazing against all of your other spring blooming flowers like your tulips mm -hmm. or, you know, <clears throat> even on their own, they just really speak for themselves. Like you see here, it's just a plethora of Ruba Maximas. Mm -hmm. And you know, they are a perennial. So besides coming back every year, they will multiply every year. So like you see here, they will just continue to multiply and spread in your garden. Do I have to do anything when they do multiply? Break apart, open the bulb? No, no, just, just let, let, let them, them do their thing. You know, if you were to dig them up, you would actually see baby bulbs, but you don't want to touch them. Just let them, you know, do what they want to do. Mm -hmm. And every, every spring they'll come back year after year, giving you more Can flowers. Can I tell you something sincerely from the bottom of my heart? Yes. You have the best description, doesn't she? Thank you. You describe things so good. Thank you so much. Like you should do jewelry shows with me. That's, we'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Listen to her, we'll talk about it later. I love her. Awesome. That was really cool. I love that. Great, now you, thank you. You're going to be coming back with something That's else, right? That's right. So, yep. Okay, so um, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Stephanie, that was awesome. Um, okay, by the way, we've got this coming up brand new today. This is the 20 piece fragrance sailboat, sailboat uh, Narcissus. Yeah. It's hard. I could, I could say that three times. Uh, that's M54882 and also has free shipping and handling with it. But right now, let's go to an 18-piece, sweet-smelling, hyacinth No, collection. first of all, I want to talk to you about trying to steal my needle.